Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to show you how to configure dial peer for voice over IP or telephone service. So before we can explain what uh, dial peer is, allow me to create a simple topology here. I will need two routers and the router that I'm going to choose is um, 28, 11 router, two of them, okay? And two access layer switches, 2960, two of them. Okay, and four IP phones. Okay, and uh, I'm going to connect them. So I'm going to choose automatic and do it very, very fast to save time. And we are going to associate each IP phone with the desktop computer. Okay, so this is the simple technology that uh, topology that uh, I have created for the demonstration demonstration for peer dial peer configuration. So what I'm going to do is to just make a little bit of dial back um, boundary, just a little bit of it. So what I'm going to say here is that uh, let's say uh, the network is uh, one and two dot one sixty eight dot 1.0 slash 24 and uh, the IP phone should have a pattern like uh, let's say uh, 100 10 dot some I mean 100 let's say just say 100 going forward okay so I'll copy I come this way and paste and let's say IP phone should have uh, a line number of uh, let's say 200 201 two or three things like that okay all right so let's explain what uh, dial pi is just like uh, a routing protocol allow me to open this topology i mean this network here okay for this network here to communicate to this network you must implement a routing protocol on this side and on this side to advertise the networks so let's relate that in the case of telephone service for this router here to know that there is a dial plan for this uh, for this with this pattern you know then you must advertise the dial plans on this router that's a routing protocol okay such that when it finds a dial number matching this one then this router here will know that I should forward that traffic to this router. Similarly, when this router here finds a line number with this pattern, it should know that I should forward that traffic to this router. Okay? So let's do that very, very fast. What I'll do first is to configure telephone service. And to begin, I'll just power on And I turn on the router's interfaces. Okay, so what we'll do is just to configure voice VLANs on on the layer 2, on the access layer switches. So I click on the switch and uh, enable, config T. And um, this should be trunk and the two should be access ports so interface fa0 slash uh, one i think so so this one should be trunk which is a uh, fa01 and this one is a fa02 and fa03 which is access switch port mode trunk okay exit then interface range FA0 slash 2 to 3 switch port mode access then switch port access I mean switch port VLAN voice VLAN 1 we just want to 
associate those sweet parts with villain one okay voice villain one okay and suppose you want to watch out to configure um, both uh, data and uh, voice villain for telephone service kindly check the previous video and i will leave it in the description part of this video or the first comment check on it all right so guys we are done on the switch and what we'll do just do right and do show start okay as you can see fa01 is trunk then fa02 and fa03 are access ports with voice villain one voice villain one okay all right so i go to this switch and do the same very very fast the way i've done on the other switch save time Okay guys, so I'm done the configuration at the access layer. So let's go to the routers and configure telephony service so that these devices should be allocated IP addresses plus line numbers for IP phones. Okay, so I'll start with this router and see this is um, FA01. So I'm going to assign FA01 uh, IP address. I'll click on it on this side. So interface every zero one should access IP address of IP address one and two dot one sixty eight dot one dot one then two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero okay exit all right so let's configure DCP pool I mean IP DCP pool so service DCP pool service DCP okay you enable the service then you create pool for this LAN here for this network okay so I'll just say IP DSCP pool let's call this pool um, let's call it uh, HR okay the network should be network should be 192 dot 168.1.0 255.255 dot two five five dot zero okay all right and then um default router should be this ip address ip address of the connecting interface which is um copy and i paste and now for voice guys we include what is called option 150 option 150 and then um, option 150 let me query IP address to be the same IP address of the connecting interface. I paste it and I hit enter and exit. Do right. So we've created a pool for HR department. Let's say this is HR department. Okay. So what I'm going to do is just to configure telephony service. Telephony service. Then maximum. Let's say maximum. Maximum. Um, directory number to be we have only two ip fonts so two then maximum number of fee fonts also two okay then ip source address should be the ip address of the the interface that we've been using here okay copy and i paste and we say there port to use port 2000 okay very simple and now let me query what's next we say auto assign auto assign auto assign from one to two because we, we only have two ip fonts here this one this one okay then exit now uh, let's assign e phone e phone directory number one let's assign e phone numbers let's say number they should detect this pattern 101 okay then e font 2 should take uh, 102 okay exit and do right okay so let's go to here and check if they have taken ip address for example this one as you can see it has taken ip address plus a line number 101 okay and this one also has taken uh, ip address plus line number 102 
so for the pcs what i'll do is just click and um, change to dscp also on this side we change to dcp okay so guys let's go here and configure what we've just configured on this set very very fast to save time so which interface is this one fa0 slash one so interface fa0 slash one ip address should be 192.168.2.1 this network see it there this one okay and um separate mask of um 255.255.255.0 okay exit now let's create pools dcp pools to assign these devices ip addresses automatically what i'll do just uh, enable the service ip dcp pool let's say this uh, this is finance department finance okay and the network to be 192.168.2.0.255.255.255.255.0 hit enter default router should be should be the address of this interface copy paste and now for the voice voice uh, pool we include option option 150 then ip address to be the ip address of this interface very simple guys very very simple paste and exit so we created a pool for this department here now let's configure telephone service telephone service and the maximum directory numbers we have only two ip phones maximum e phones number of phones we only have two and um, ip source IP source that should be used is this IP address of this interface, which is that one with a port number of 2000. Okay, hit enter. And now, what's remaining? We just say auto assign, auto assign number one to, to two. Okay, good. Then exit. Now, let's assign if one directory number one i say number I say it number 201 let's see here the pattern was 200 okay pattern okay so if on directory number two assign it number 202 okay exit and do right Okay, so if I move over these uh, phones, you will see they have taken uh, they have taken a line number in that pattern. You see, you can see that is uh, 201, and this one is uh, 202 with the respective IP addresses. Okay, all right, guys. So what we are going to do now, before we can configure dial peer, I want us to configure IP address to these two interfaces. So here we include something like uh, let's say 10.10.10. .10 .10 dot zero slash thirty okay all right so this is a phase zero slash zero a phase zero slash zero so what i'll do i'll just come here a phase zero slash zero and then include this network ten dot ten dot ten dot one now okay and this one will take ip address of i mean subject mask of two five five dot uh two five five dot two five two okay i'll copy that good and i come and say do red that's done see the ip address plus the subject pass for fa00 on this side so this one will be dot two okay fa00 fa00 i mean it's 10 dot 10 dot 10 dot 2 and uh, subject pass this one right come here and say do right okay so guys basically let's configure a routing protocol to advertise these networks first before we can configure telpia and configure ospf exit 
Let's start with OSPF. Router OSPF 10. Okay. Then the network should be 192.168.1.0. Dot dot and the wildcard must be 0 0.0.0.255. Dot zero dot zero dot area area 0. Okay. Another network is the, the one that we just conf uh, configured right now, which is 10.10.10. Uh, 10. .10, .10, .10 10 10 10 and the uh, wildcard mask over here will be dot 3 okay area 0 exit and do right then we come here again to configure SPF router or SPF uh, process ID of 10 then the network of um, network of uh, 1 and 2 dot 168 dot 2.0 the connecting network this one a uh, wildcard mask of 0 dot 0 dot 0 dot 255 area 0 another network is uh, the one that we just configured to was dot 3 yeah 10 10 10 exit and do right okay so what i want to do is just to try to ping from this pc to this pc this one is um 2.5 2.5 then we finally ping we finally configured all here dot 2.5 let's just give it some time okay can you guess as you can see it's being successfully and now the second step i'm just going to try to dial call this phone then call this phone okay so this one is 102 come here geo high 102 you can see it's ringing okay it's this phone and if i come to you see it's ringing here so i can connect and you see from 101 okay all right so let me just hang up first before right all right so guys what i'm going to test i'm going to test if this one can call this one this one is 201 and this one is 202 so gu high You can see it's calling, okay. And if you come go to go this uh, phone here, you can see it's ringing from two one. Then you pick up. You see it's connected, okay. Let me hang up. And finally, I'm going to test if this phone can call either of this phone, okay. This one is two two. Let me call from this phone two zero two and call. You see unknown number so this is the concept of dial here another one i can call two zero one unknown number the concept of dial here so guys we're going to configure dial p on this router and on this router so that this router here can know where to forward a traffic matching this line number okay Whenever it receives any traffic matching this line number, it will forward to this router. And also this router, whenever it finds traffic matching this number, it will forward to this router. Let's do that, that very, very fast. So I click on this router. And uh, yeah. how do we start? We just say dial peer. Dial peer. Let me query. Dial peer voice. Dial peer voice. Then we query. You give it any number. Let's say this is number uh, even number ten. Okay, then you query again. Then it's for voice of IP, and you hit enter. Then destination destination pattern should be. You see, it's two two dot something. Let's say two dot dot. Meaning this two is contained within two hundred. So it can be two two zero one up to. 299 two dot dot if you add 2000 you could have said 
two with three dots okay very simple okay and then you say session session let me just query session target let me query ipv4 ipv4 so the session target ipv4 should be the ip address of this router's interface okay this one which was uh f0 and the ip address was that one it's just simple com three three of the commands just simple simple you know and you paste and you hit enter and exit okay do all right okay then we go to this router also to configure dial peer very simple dial peer is a very very simple thing to configure just few commands exit how do we start just says dial dial peer dial peer query voice you give it any number let's say for, you know when you're configuring dial peer on this side then the number should be identical remember we used number 10 okay to connect with this router here okay okay so number 10 for voice of ip then you hit enter then destination destination pattern should be something like 100 so let's say one dot dot so it can be from 101 to 199 very simple then you say session session target ipv4 then colon very simple i know you use the ip address of this router here the p here the p here okay the the very immediate one this one okay and you paste then i edit to one hit enter exit and do right okay so i'm just going to give it some three seconds so that i can try to ping from this pc again to i mean from this ip before ip phone to this one so i'm going to ping again remember the first time we pinged we got no response it was a no number and now i'm going to ping again it's now 202 you can see it's now ringing from our phone we will ping 202 okay so let's go to 202 and see this is 202 you see this one is from 101 so we can pick and dial peer is working perfectly fine so guys it's pretty much simple for dial peer it's just some three commands okay the first thing to do is just to is just to set the dial peer number and um, specify that it's for voice of ip then destination pattern to match the destination then the session target to be ipv4 of the peer very simple guys and i believe this video has really helped you know how to configure dial peer in voice of ip or telephone service configuration thank you so much and guys please don't leave to, don't leave before you can subscribe to our channel bye and see you again when we will be doing our major project on telephone service bye